Hi guys, welcome back. Long time no video. Um, a bit of news for Ed Tracker users here. Um, basically, OpenTrack now works with the Ed Tracker. So, what does this mean? Well, it means that now you can uh, potentially use your Ed Tracker with any game that supports either Free Track uh, or Track IR protocols or FSX protocol for flight sim and stuff like this. So, um, what it basically does is it accepts the joystick input of the Ed Tracker and then pushes that out to the game as a, as a native protocol, so as a free track or a track on our protocol. So all those games that didn't allow joystick input for, for head look, now you can use OpenTrack to um, emulate that device to your game and, and potentially use EdTracker now with all these other, other games. So, how to set it up? Right, well, we're going to have a quick little summary of what to do. So, first thing we need to do is get your EdTracker device, plug it in, and you know the GUI tool that we all know and love, run that up because there's a couple of things for now that you need to um, change for this to kind of really work well with uh, OpenTrack. Uh, first thing you need to do is you need to turn the sensitivity right down. So you can see here I've got, uh, this is how I normally play mine as a native joystick uh, device. I've got it exponential uh, and I've got the, the sensitivity set all the way up to 16. So what you need to do is put your device into linear mode, so toggle that response mode and have it set to linear, and then put this your scale down to one. So if you've got that at the default of four or five, I think it is, bring that back down to one, okay? That's very important, otherwise you've got the scaling being applied in the Ed Tracker, a multiplication factor there, but you can set, you can set much more detailed response curves in uh, OpenTrack. Um, to do all of that for you. So if you if you end up with both, you end up with uh, massive sensitivity, and it just it, you know it, it flicks all over the place. So turn it down in our software, and then you can set it all up to your heart's delight in OpenTrack. Uh, so once that's done, you can quit that. Right then. So I'm going to put this to one side. Right, so I'm going to put it on the arm of my chair. Uh, so the next thing we need to do is uh, just configure OpenTrack. It's kind of a one-time thing. Um, OpenTrack, you can download it. I'll put the link in here. Da, 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 da. Um, when you run it up, uh, you'll get this by default. Um, what we're going to do is for the main tracker, I'm going to assume that we're just using this with Ed Tracker for now. Um, you select joystick because that's what the Ed Tracker is basically pretending to be. Um, in settings, then uh, for your joystick ID, you're going to choose the Ed Tracker 2 device, fairly obviously. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to associate axis 1 with your. So for the your option, you want to choose hash 1, for pitch, hash 2, and for roll, hash 3. Uh, X, Y, and Z, you don't, you don't map. Remember, Ed Tracker is only 3 degrees of freedom. It doesn't map transa translational movement, only rotational. So um, uh, that's the usual limitation there. Set that up, that's fine. You can obviously plumb in auxiliary trackers and fuse the two together, but, but for now we're just keeping this uh, at the basics. For game protocol, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose Free Track 2. Uh, and then if you go into settings, you can choose here whether you want it to use the Free Track protocol only, the Track IR protocol only, or, or both. Um, I think both should work fine. Uh, should do. Well, actually, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to use Track IR for now. Um, Set that up as, as you prefer. Uh, the one thing you then must do is you must go to mapping, and here is where you set up your, your response curves. So for the amount of input, how much output is going out. Um, again, we only need to do your pitch and roll. Yeah. And what you can do here is you can see for 180 degrees as, uh, is lined up on the axis here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep it simple and just do a very linear line like so. Yeah. What you can do is you can you know, you can put curves in here um, and, and, and build up your own kind of response curve, so maybe keep it fairly low sensitivity at the bottom, um, and you can right click to remove those, those dots, yeah? Uh, I'm just gonna keep this really simple for now, and I'm just gonna put straight lines into all of them. I'm not quite sure what the bottom one is, but I stick a straight line in that as well. So the same for pitch. And then go onto the roll tab and do the same for roll. Again, you can tweak these curves to what suits you. Uh, that's no problem. Uh, I think maybe one is one is for one side of the axis and one is for the other side of the axis. Uh, X, Y, Z, I'm not going to bother with because we don't use those. 
um, and there's options here to, to invert the axes if you need to which you may well need to. Uh, we're going to OK that. Uh, right, and what we can do now is we can just test the, the theory. Um, what we do is click Start and then you should see the octopus kind of moving in relation to your tracker. Yeah. So you can just check that that is kind of reading in sensible values and obviously you can always use the button to re-zero it. Um, if you find that that is flipping around way too much you've probably got those sensitivity settings in the Ed Tracker too high, turn them down. Also turn off the exponential setting, remember use linear, there's no sense in having exponential when you're using open track because of those curves you can set it how you want to. Uh, one thing you can do as well is you can put a filter on here uh, this kind of dampens out any noise, any any kind of sudden movements that maybe are undesired. Um, I'm going to put the Excel filter on there, um, and that should be about it. In keys, you can set the um, the track IR recentering button um, to to a, to a key, or whatever. So you can press a, a key to recenter it rather than the the button on top of the tracker if you want to. Um, and the same with the toggle on off kind of option. Um, once you've got all that running, you can put that to one side. I'm just going to test it once more. Yeah, that's fine. And then you can launch up a game. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Armour 3 here. Um, the reason I've picked this one is Armour 3 did support an analog joystick input for head look. Um, but, but some of the guys have discovered uh, on, the, on the internet there that it's quite grainy. The, the, um, the resolution which it does the look by is quite poor and it's quite stuttery. But when you use it by a track IR, it's much better. So we're going to use Armour 3, but we're going to configure it to what it thinks is track IR. Uh, but in reality, it's going to be the Ed Tracker talking through open track to the game. Okay, so we've got Armour 3 started up. Um, we've got open track running. Make sure you've clicked the start uh, option to keep to have it running in the background. Um, in Armour 3, then we are just going to go into VR training. I'm just going to sort of show you setting it up in there. Very simple, doesn't take long to do. So what I'll do is stick this on for now. Reset it. So bring up your menu, your configuration menu, and go into controls. Uh, now one of the things you'll need to check is in your controllers, you should see track IR listed, and make sure it's enabled. Yeah, so make sure it's like a white colour. Uh, you can obviously enable and disable that here. So make sure that's enabled. Then in your view settings, you've got your um, look left, right, down and up uh, options. And these are what you need to map to your track IR, rotate left, right, or, or your um, free track uh, left, right, depending on what protocol you're using. So I'm gonna look at the, the look left one, and I'm gonna drag the track IR rotate left over to the this look left setting. Move to the next one and do the track IR rotate right for look right. For look down, track IR rotate down. And for look up, track IR rotate up. Okay that. There's also head roll stuff as well. Um, and you've got other settings for, for uh, helicopter movements and whatnot. But um, for, for your view you, you know, you mainly need those ones. If you want to map map it to do other things in other modes, then then you can do. Uh, that's the main ones. Click OK. Come back into game, and there you go. There's your up, your down, and you notice it is much smoother now um, than than using just the native joystick input. Um, that that obviously the sensitivity needs needs playing around there, but you can just flick over to open track. You can tweak those um, those curves to get it moving exactly how you want it to, and uh, there you go. And with that working in R three via track IR, I mean literally any game that supports track IR or free track should now work with uh, with open track and Ed Tracker. So there you go. One thing you'll notice at the moment, and this is only a temporary thing. Um, Ed Tracker's got a, like an auto centering uh, facility in it. Um, basically, because the cheaper 6050 gyros don't have a magnetometer, we've always had some code in there that tweaks um, your uh, your yaw back to center over time if it thinks that it's drifting off. Um, now, this kind of can trick you into moving back to center like this. You can see it's kind of recentering. 
It's more apparent uh, via OpenTrack, not because that's OpenTrack's fault, it's just the way our code's working. Um, so we're going to tweak that over the next few releases and get that so that it's a bit more bearable. Um, when, when you've got a magnetometer and the lighter code can, can sense magnetometer inputs, then it won't really be needed. But, um, but just bear with, us, bear with us for now if you find that it kind of does this recentering thing a little bit. Um, we'll tweak that around and get that a bit more bearable. But um, it's certainly, you know, once you move way off center with your head, uh, you won't notice it. It's just when you're hovering around the dead center uh, position. Uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, let's not take up any more time. Simple, nice and easy. Um, and that should release a whole load more games that you can use Ed Tracker with now, um, other than just uh, anything that sports analog joystick. Um, till next time, see you later.